Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last part, we kind of completed getting the two mermaid keys and doing all the crazy mini games. Finally, those ones are done. But before we go on to Mermaid's Cave, there's actually a lot of secrets since this is the linked version of Oracle of Ages. We have a few secrets that we can do that's going to help us out uh, later on the game. You can do this near the end of the game if you want, but to be quite honest, um, it's probably just a lot better to get them earlier on so that way they'll actually help you. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't have the tree and the present unlocked, so we're gonna quickly use our tuna currents. No, 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 no. Tuna currents, please. Because there's also gonna be like a lady here that we're gonna need to talk to. There's a few people that I didn't talk to in order to get codes from that we're gonna have to go get those codes because you actually have to talk to them before I can input the codes that I got from a friend uh, in regards to uh, unlocking stuff in this game from the other game, and vice versa. So now talk to this old lady. Aren't you Link? I knew we'd meet. How do you like to hear a useful tip? Okay. You know the clock shop in Haludrin's whatever village? Take around the back of it. A friend of mine is there. Tell my friend a secret. I'm about to tell you. Understand? Yep. So remember this. So basically you gotta tell that code to Oracle of Season. They'll do it and then give you back another code. But I already got those codes. So don't do that. Um, also, there's something we're going to do with this, which is why we need money, because we need to get an upgraded uh, ring box as well. Uh, next person we talk to is in here. The mother. You're Link, the one who saved Haludrum. Fate must have brought us here together. Will you hear the request? Yep. Do you remember Mayor Rule back in Haludrum's Horn Village? No, I don't. I want you to tell the secret to Mayor Rule, understand? Okay. The secret is blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, cool. Don't forget. Uh -huh. Alright. So that's the next one. Now we have to go to... Whoa! Slidey, slidey, slidey. We have to go to the past, basically. And we're gonna take, tell all the secrets inside the Maku Tree. And we're gonna get special things. And like I said, um... Might have to bear with me a little bit. Because it's gonna be kind of like just a secrets episode before we start Mermaid Mermaid's Cave. Uh, like I said, just to get all this stuff out of the way with, um, cause it'll help. And I think we can get all but one, cause now that we've been crowned dungeon, we can get a lot of different things. So, the last two people that I didn't talk to in regards to secrets in this game, uh, except for the last one, of course, which we can't do until after Mermaid's Cave, is one, there's, I'll just take that, why not? Um, there's a girl... Who's like on the south end side of the black tower. And she's like right over here. I don't know, I just never bothered with her. I just kind of ignored her, but she's good to talk to. I forget to tell my lucky secret to that guy who went to Hludum's. He's so unlucky. I just hope he doesn't meet with disaster and end up with a bag of bones. Can you help me? Sure. The secret is blah blah blah. Did you memorize it? Yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks so much. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's another one, and there's one more in the past. It's a Deku scrub that is in the past forest, where, you know, Queen Ambi, like, wanted the mystery seeds, and we had to go find them, and there was this Deku scrub over there that I totally ignored. I was like, what is that? I was like, I never remember him being here. Oh, look, we can plant stuff. Yeah, let's plant. Whatever. Cool. Make things grow into beautiful, wonderful trees that'll produce rings. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so annoying. Or a heart piece, which we're gonna have to do. As the rings, I'm not too whatever about, but certain codes will give you rings. Uh, I think we're also going to get a heart container from stuff too. Hello, soldiers. Hop over this. And I think he's right over past this screen. Yeah, he's right up there. I'll take care of him. This guy right here. Love, love the sea. The secret is all the rage among duck scrubs now. Want to hear the rest? Yep. Love, love the sea. Next is... Can you remember it? Yep. Duck scrub west of Sunken City in Hilodrum loves the secret. I do too. You should play him, pay him, play him. Pay him a visit. Uh, how about no? Okay. So now... Actually, can we just warp? I don't know, because warping is fun. Warp to the uh, selfie shore. Yep, we'll warp. 
Okay. Let's get our whatever's on. I probably seriously should use the, um... Actually, you know when I think about it? I probably could get that upgrade, like, right now, since we happen to be here. Upgrade ring box. Which, with the secret code that we're going to be using in the Mako Tree, it's going to upgrade to an L3 ring box, so you basically can hold... I'm going to assume up to three rings. I'm sorry if that's incorrect. But yeah, we didn't have, like, enough money for this, and I kind of ignored it because all I wanted was the heart piece, and there's also a ring there. But yeah, the ring box is really actually kind of important, and now we have enough money f uh, for it, thanks to all those wonderful hundred uh, rupee things. Sir, I can expand your ring box to make a whole more rings. Yep. Got the L2 ring box. It can hold three rings. Okay, cool. So there you go. Answers it for me. The upgrade one can hold up to three rings. And we're still going to get the next one up from that. I don't know if that makes you hold even more. I can only assume. I mean, upgrade means you could hold more. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is blind besides my own research on uh, what to do in regards to it. But yeah. So... We're going to go to the present, because we're going to need to be in the present in order to uh, to do this with all the codes and stuff. It's kind of exciting, though, because we're going to get new awesome things, including the big Goron sword and um, upgrades for swords and shields and stuff. And then later on, those are going to upgrade to the official one, which we would have gotten from the codes anyway, um, because we had to do trade sequences to upgrade. And there's another area that we're going to need the mermaid suit in order to access, I think, for an upgrade shield. But yeah, we can't do that right now. So anyways, we're going to put in the codes that we can for now. Welcome, Link. I am for Oracle of Secrets. I think this was the reason why they put her in this game is I think they're actually going to have another game. But it didn't happen. So that's just the two Link games. I think this was C3 originally. I think. This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. I can give shape to powerful secrets that I remember. Do you know a secret moving through time? Yes, I do. So now you basically have to input a secret. So we're going to, I think the first one's going to give us a heart container. And like I said, if this is terribly boring, I am sorry, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done because we want cool things. And so I get to show you guys all about this, hence it's the length game. Alright, that should be it. Alright. Cool. Super awesome powers. Oh, we got the Sacred Noble Sword. Yeah, so that's the L2 sword. And then that's going to upgrade to the Master Sword later on. Your secrets have called forth new power. Come again any time. Okay, cool. So we're going to do more. Yes, we are. Okay. So, like I said, we, do, we should be able to do all but one. And like I said, I have all the codes. Come on. We want to input these fast so it doesn't take up too much time to do this. That should be it. Plus, it's annoying to re-input them all the time. And then sometimes chests will appear as well for extra items. I'm not sure exactly which one this is. The chickens are called for new power. Come again anytime. This is the one I think from the graveyard. Alright, so this is the heart container. Cool, more hearts are good. So we're two away from the max. I, I'm not sure how that works, like, because you get other heart pieces. I'm assuming if you need full hearts, you have to do this? I don't know. So, yeah, I got more secrets. Yeah, I totally do. So, now we need to input the Subrogian one. And that's why we had to talk to all those people, like, up in the other area. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this. And I hate the fact that the plus signs seriously look like the T, or the T looks like a plus sign, or vice versa. It's kind of awkward. But, you know, this type of font is, uh, is like that. So, here we go. It's another item. I think the one, the next code after this, I can't do because the one we had to do, like, after completing Mermaid's Cave. So you're call forth new power, coming in any time, blah 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 blah. We got bomb chews! Woo! Awesome, throw them at our enemies, that'll be fun. Okay, let's do more codes! More codes, it's fun time. Um, can't do that one, so basically we're gonna do the next one. Plus sign, please. And hopefully I don't lose track as to where I am in regards to this uh, code sheet that I have here. Okay. And I believe it's this. And then we got the weird at symbol thing. It's all scrunchy. Yay, it worked! I think it's going to be upgraded. Yep! Iron shield! Like I said, the later on we'll turn to the mirror, sh mirror shield because we have to upgrade that. 
But it, it should work. I've uh, I, I've checked, or at least I've I've asked some people and stuff, and I think online. It, it, I mean, it should work. I don't know why they would. I don't think they would screw you over in regards to that. But yeah, there's like a lot of codes that we just didn't bother inputting into this game because I had to figure out because I thought with this one that you had to do the same thing where like you had to actually specifically talk to someone in order to input a code, but you just input the codes here. And I can only assume in the other game you gotta do more things, I guess. You can hold more bombs than before. Cool. So, because I don't know if the other game has a room like this. I think you seriously actually have to talk to people in order to get, like, special codes and stuff. Um, and then you get them from this game and then go over and make that the linked version of Oracle Seasons, which I seriously have to play one of these days. I know you guys keep, like, saying, like, oh my gosh, you have to play that game. And I really should. And one day I will. And if I do, I don't know. Maybe afterwards I'll probably come back to this and make that a linked version. And we'll go from there. We got a ring! Got to appraise later! Cool. Then we have a lot of rings to get appraised. We could probably do that in this episode. This is kind of like a catch-up episode. Just, uh, forewarning. So, hopefully we didn't input this one yet. Like I said, if I look away from the screen, it's gonna be like, oh gosh, did I not... I don't think we've done a percentage sign yet, so... I think this is the right one. Yeah, we didn't do this one yet. More special things. Seed Satchel is now upgraded. So that's the one thing we need to get from the Deku dude, because he talked about seeds and stuff. So we're getting all kinds of upgrades. I think we have two more left to put in. Um, let's see. Alright. More plus signs. Plus signs everywhere. They must love those plus signs, I tell ya. Uh, circle, and a five, and all kinds of numbers. They were kind of creative with the whole, um, codes though back then. The different symbols and numbers. You'd think it would just be numbers, but it's like symbols and letters and numbers. Ooh! Wonder- oh, it's getting close, it's getting close. What's this one now? Let's see. Big Goron sword! Two-handed sword! Oh my gosh, I gotta show you guys that after this. Okay, I think this is the last secret we can do for now, so. And then I swear, guys, and then we'll be done for with the secrets until after uh, Mermaid's Cave. And then I think there's one more to input after that. And then the rest is pretty much just collecting stuff. Alright. What's the final whatever? We got the L3 ring box. Yep, because we upgraded and now it's the L3. Because hold five rings. That is awesome. The secrets have called forth new power. Come again anytime. So that's it. That's it for these codes, anyway. Ugh. This is so cool. Okay, now I gotta show you the big Goron sword, just because also... Woo! New sword! Um, yeah, it takes two hands, so... Look at this beast! I'll give you a haircut. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty freaking crazy. Like, um, I don't know when there would be a circumstance that I need to particularly use that, but yeah, that's pretty freaking crazy. Okay, let's just do the ring box thing. What can I do for you? We're gonna praise rings because we got a bunch of them. We're gonna praise that one. It's called the blue luck ring. Half damage from beams. Okay, whatever. I don't think I'll be using it. There's only certain ones that are really good in this game, other ones are like meh. I can call the blue joy ring. Beast drop double hearts. Okay. Cool. Which one shall I praise? Appraise things. Call the light ring L1. Sword beams at two hearts. That's what the ring is. And I'll add to your list. Might as well equip some rings too. Which one shall I praise? It's called arrow ring L1. Damage taken. But also your sword will not work as good. Okay. And the last one. I think it's the recent one we got. It's called the Heart Ring L1. Slowly recover lost hearts. That's actually pretty good. Alright, cool. Praise all your rings. Rings do nothing less worn. Okay, can I uh, see my list then? Like I said, at the end of the game we'll get all kinds of stuff. Uh, soft soul nearby. You know what? We're not going to keep that. No, we're not going to do that either. I want this one. 
Uh, mm, mm. uh, sure, why not? Alright. Discovery ring? No. What's this one? Keep reading my rings. Double hearts? Sure, that, I don't know, for now, I don't really care. But let's just fill them all up, because we don't have that many. No, we don't want that one. What was the other one? This one? Okay, cool. And, I don't know. What else are we gonna put on? This is so cool. Uh, no. Is that seriously, like, all the rings? I don't want to do that one. So, I guess soft soil it is. I think you still can only equip one at a time, but we can switch between all of those. Oh, wait, wait, what'd I do? Alright. Yeah, nothing unless worn. Okay, well, let's wear some- wear- yeah, wear something. I want to wear that one. I think that one at the moment's the best at the moment, but yeah. At the moment, at the moment, at the moment. That makes a lot of sense. Look at how cool, how far we are in this game, guys. That's so awesome. That's so freaking awesome. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one we're going to enter. I'm trying to remember which one you have to enter. Is it, I think it's the one in the past. Yeah, it's the one in the past. So we're going to have to switch it to the past and then warp to where the entrance to the dungeon is, because I'm pretty sure you start in the past, and I think you go from there to go into the future and stuff. Ugh. And yeah, along the way I noticed that there were some soil patches I forgot to point out. You know where the vine is? Where we had to grow the vine to get to the mini games, like the cart mini game, and then like the sword beam me mini game? Yeah, there you basically have to, um, there's like these stone rocks on the side, or whatever, things you can lift up. And, um, ah, ah, yeah, we're gonna want to go there. Yeah, we're going to Rolling Ridge. And I think we can go down here. Look at how awesome this is. I don't even think we have our shield. I don't have a shield on. I usually don't have it on, but you can just because. Alright. But yeah, basically if you lift up one of those rocks, you'll basically get a soul patch thing. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's open this. Alright, pass key, opened it. Here we are, level 6, Mermaid's Cave. Ugh, dangerous. But you know what guys, we're gonna leave the start of this up to the next episode for a brand new fresh start on this dungeon. And this one's extremely annoying. Um, it's one of the worst ones in my opinion, just because you have to switch between time zones and it's annoying. That's why we need two keys in order to complete it. But anyways, that's going to be saved off to the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Hopefully it's helped you with your with the secrets or where, what you got to do in order to get them. They are different per game, mind you. And you're going to have to either play Oracle Seasons first to get your codes and all whatever first or you just get a friend like I did but anyways yeah thanks for watching like I said leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and if you enjoy my content a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff uh, and also on top of subscribing make sure to hit the cog thing to get notified of everything that I upload if you want to actually know everything that I upload it's annoying I put a video up about it um, I'll link that in the description below but anyways yeah thank you guys for watching again for the bazillionth time and as always take care